Hi you guys, today's workout is with reformer, Pilates reformer and uh, some um, weight, like uh, dumbbells or weight balls. So it's going to be uh, between one and three pounds. So I'm going to use this uh, weight ball. It weighs uh, one pound each ball. Okay, then if you don't have any weights, get uh, some water bottle and uh, let's get started. So have a uh, three red on, three red springs on, or three heavy springs on. Okay, then lay down on your back. And if you need a headdress, you go for it. And nicely melt down your ribs on the carriage. Then your pelvis are flat. Then have a Pilates V position, heels together, toes apart. Your knees are a little bit wide, but not falling down. And keep your tailbone really down, anchored on the carriage. Then bend your elbows with your weight on each hand. Then from here, really squeezing nicely these both heels. Then as you inhale, press out and arms are reaching up towards the ceiling and exhale slowly, close your carriage in. Again, inhale out, your inner sides are facing up. Then exhale slowly, drag your carriage in. Here's your getting, really squeezing together and inhale, press out. Exhale, bend your elbows, you come down and inhale, Reach your arms up, but without hiking your shoulders, then slowly lower down. Again, inhale. Make sure your pelvis are still even, and exhale, lower down. Let's do four more like that. Inhale out, arms are reaching out, then exhale, coming down. Inhale, squeeze your inner side together, and exhale, slowly lower down. And inhale. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Last one. Reach. And slowly coming down. Now keep your heels attached on the football wide position. So still keep nicely turned out. Then your elbows. It's down on the carriage, then slightly open your uh, forearms a little bit wide, okay? Then from here, here both heels are very nicely attached on the football, okay? Then as you exhale, press out and uh, op or reach your arms diagonally up towards the sea. And inhale, slowly come back in. Exhale out. Reach your arms up and slowly coming in. Exhale out. Nice open wide arms and inhale, come back. Exhale and inhale. Still make sure you are leg alignment. Okay, so you're nicely turned out and you are second and third toe, knee and your hip bone kind of like, you know, nice one straight one line. Okay, and press out, exhale. Inhale, bring your elbows in next to your waist. And exhale out. Inhale in, let's do two more. Push through your heels and slowly come back in. Last one out. Nice, your, reach your arms up and slowly come back in. Now, bring your knees together, internally rotating your legs from your hips, your arches up, attached on the football, okay? Then reach your arms towards your knees and your palms are facing down, okay? Then press your carriage out, your knees are separating, then same time bend your elbows wide. So your elbows are hovering up and Exhale, come back. So inhale, press out, bend your elbows. Still keep your uh, wrists a neutral position. 
and wide end bend. And reach forward, your knees are kissing together. And inhale up. Exhale, come back in. Your knees are kissing. Inhale and exhale. So nice internal rotation from your hips. And in and bend and come back. Last two more. Press out and bend your elbows wide nicely and straighten towards your knees and keeping nice this internal rotation from your hips. Then slowly reach your arms towards your knees and come back in. Nice. And now put your parallel feet. So you are like a hip, hip bone waist, the hip bone knee, and you can see your second and third toes in line, straight. Okay. Then from here, your uh, hands are reaching up towards the ceiling. Okay. So keep your elbows straight. Then as you push through your heels, as you exhale, your hands are going down next to your hips. Your both hands are facing each other. Okay. And inhale, come back in. Okay, exhale, reach your arms towards your foot bar, down, and inhale, come back, in. So exhale, arms are reaching, you're pushing through your heels, and inhale, come back, and out. Keep your nice neutral lower back position, you're not extending or you're not rocking your pelvis, right? And inhale, come back. Let's do three more. Exhale out, reach your arms, but still keep hovering up your hands and elbows over your carriage. And two, nicely square your hips. And last one out, and slowly come back in. And now put your uh, toes on, still parallel feet, okay? And square hips. From here, you are just, so reach your arms toward the, to the side, okay? Then nicely holding your heels uh, gently high heel, not too much up, but slightly high heel. Okay, your palms are facing up. Then as you press out, you bring your hands next to your hips. Okay, then exhale slowly, come back in. Make sure your both knees are nicely tracking one straight line. Okay, and exhale slowly, drag your carriage in and inhale out. Exhale, close. Okay, so your arms are going to go side, okay, and inhale, reach your hands towards your hips, and still keep your elbows hub up, okay, and open, 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 and so now close your arms, but you press your carriage out, and exhale, close your carriage, and open your arms to the side, and Inhale, press your carriage out and bring your hands next to your hips. And slowly close your carriage and open your arms to the side. Let's do two more like that. Press out, inhale. Exhale through your mouth and slowly close your carriage and inhale out. Make sure your pelvis is flat and exhale, slowly coming back. Okay, now still keep these toes on position and arms are reaching up towards the ceiling, palms are facing each other nicely, okay? Then holding a nice neutral wrist position, gently high here and press out. Okay, then as you exhale, slowly lower your heels down and inhale up. So this time your arms are stay just up, okay? Just inhale, lift your heels up. 
Exhale slowly, bring your heels down, down, down. And nice, feel nice stretch here. Inhale up. Exhale down, down, down. Inhale through your nose, heels up. Exhale through your mouth and the heels down, down, down. So try not to bring your arms over your head and holding nicely. So engage your armpit. Stay this nice uh, reaching up position, okay? And now heels up. Then let's do prancing. So one knee bend and the other heel going down under the foot bar. Then lift both heels up, inhale, and exhale, switch. So and up and switch and lift and one knee bend and the other heel going down nice feel nice stretch and up exhale switch keep your arms still up towards the ceiling holding nice from the side of your body exhale switch inhale up exhale switch Inhale up, let's do one more. Down, 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 and up, and exhale, stretch, and lift your heels up, and bend your knees, and put your hands down, and slowly close your carriage all the way. Okay, then now, lift your uh, legs straight over your foot bar, and roll side to side, just relax massage then reach your arms up towards the ceiling and reach your legs diagonally up keep not touching the football then from here as you inhale nod your chin and exhale teaser then put your hands down and swing your legs to the side and let's switch the weight so have a one blue one half spring on then take the other heavy springs out. So you have only one blue spring or your half springs on, okay? Then now facing the tower, take the uh, headrest down, okay? Then put your both feet straight between your uh, uh, shoulder rest, okay? So if you, it's, uh, you have a narrow space, you can cross your legs, but um, as you are switching the uh, position, you can just cross and uncross the other side. Okay, don't forget that. Okay, so then have a stirrups first. Okay, then you are sitting nicely on your top of your sit bone. Okay, then cross your stirrups. Okay, so ho uh, hold the uh, weight handy. Okay, then bring your uh, stirrups over your elbows, okay? Then if you can, now take the weight with your hands, each side, each hand, okay? So then from here, really nicely keeping upright position. Your uh, pelvis, it's directly under your uh, ribs. Your ribs are keep, keeping nicely close in the middle, okay? Then your shoulders are relaxed. Kindly like, you know, you feel uh, pulled up towards the ceiling from the crown of the head, okay? Then your both elbows is kind of like 90 degree away. So it's not over your shoulder, it's more, your elbows is away from your chest and just kind of like shoulder height, okay? Your both weight are facing each other, okay? Then from here, without changing anything on your torso, open your arms to the side. Gently squeezing your shoulder, your shoulder blades in the center and inhale, close. Exhale, open and gently squeezing, but keep your shoulders down and slowly coming back. Pull and squeeze and slowly coming back. Keep breathing and whatever, whatever you feel good, so you know, you can do exhale, pull, or inhale, pull, whatever you feel okay. And, but nicely hold, once you are pull, then slowly control and come back in. Let's do two more like that, open, so your elbows is wide, 
and slowly come back in. Keep your both shoulders very away from your ears and slowly come back in. Okay, now take the uh, one strap down. So I'm gonna hold in this right side strap with my left hand, okay? So still it's closed. Okay, then take the uh, one weight to the side, okay? Just put it away a little bit. Okay, then with, so now I'm holding this strap with my left hand and with my right hand, I'm holding this weight, okay? Then your both hands are face, uh, facing each other and a nice straight arm, but not hyperextending, gently holding, okay? Then from here, let's do roll down. So your first, you are very nicely upright, neutral position. Then from here, you're not pulling with your hands, you are just gently, as you exhale, pull your navel in and tuck your tail under and roll down. Then try to find your sacrum on the carriage. So feel the connection, pubic bone, inner side, pubic bone, navel, and your bottom of your sternum. Then inhale here and exhale slowly. Come back up, reverse the motion, then nicely come back to the upright position. Again, keep your shoulders down. Okay, so just gently control, activate your core and find your sacrum on the carriage. Stay, keep your shoulders down, inhale. And exhale, pull your navel more into the spine, then slowly coming up and stuck back up. Again, so pull your navel in and roll down. So send your tailbone toward the end of the reformer. Keep your shoulders down. Inhale and exhale slowly, controlling more engagement on your core and come up. Let's do two more like that. Pull, 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 and tail, your tailbone is sliding forward. And inhale and exhale slowly, coming up. Last one. So keep controlling your axis, it's still in the middle. You are, while you are only having one strap, with one hand, okay, and inhale, and exhale slowly, slowly, pull your navel in, and coming up, good. So now, let's have a little bit add on from here. So roll down, same way, find your sacrum, and connect your pubic bone through your sternum, here, okay? Then you have still both hands are, both hands are facing each other, then pulling the strap wide and reach your, uh, the other hand with the weight. Then you're twisting this bending elbow side. Then stay here. Then just nicely twisting from your ribs. Look at your weight ball or dumbbell and look back your elbow and slowly coming back up, okay? So roll down, find your sacrum, exhale, okay? Then pull, then twisting, okay? Then inhale, look at your weight, forward, okay? And exhale, look back. And you can feel how more range of motion from here. Then inhale and exhale, coming back up. So inhale and exhale. Pull and twisting, okay? Then inhale, look straight forward. Reach your right arm straight, very reaching. Then look at your elbow and slowly coming back up. Let's do two more like that. Roll down and twist and reach. Keep your cent you know, weight in the center and inhale, look at your ball. Stay your uh, carriage, steady, and exhale, look back, and coming back to the center, and come up. 
Again, pull your navel in. Find your center and twisting from your bottom of your ribs. And look straight forward. Inhale. Exhale, look back. Then inhale and exhale, come back up. Good. Okay, so let's switch the uh, strap. So now you're holding with your right hand, left strap, and you're holding this pole with your left hand. And both hands are facing each other. Straight the arms, keep your shoulders away from your ears. No tension on your neck. And as you exhale, pull your navel in, tuck your tail under, slide your tailbone forward. Stay there. Inhale. And exhale, pull your navel in. More and more to come up nicely. Again. Inhale and exhale slowly. Slowly. Slowly keep your shoulders down. And just keep nice connection on your front side. And inhale and exhale slowly. Pull your navel in. 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 And come up. Let's do three more like that. Tuck your tail under, pull, 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 great, and still keep your weight in the middle, okay, and inhale, and exhale, slowly, slowly, come up, hold up towards the ceiling, and again, exhale, 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 and find your sacrum at the bottom, keep your neck Back of your neck is really long, and slowly exhale, pull your navel into your spine to come back up. Last one, pull your navel in, 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 gently, and kindly like stretching your lower back, and inhale and exhale, slowly, 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 come back up, okay? And now we are just add on the twist. So roll down and from here, pull your right elbow back and twist your torso towards your right. And now look this weight ball, inhale. And exhale, look back again towards your elbow and slowly coming back up. So roll down. Find your circle and twist, pull and twist. Okay, keep your right shoulder away from your ears. Inhale, look straight forward. With, find the ball and look back, exhale. So that you can twist a little bit more. Then inhale and exhale, come back up to the center. Again, inhale and exhale, roll, roll down and Pull and twist. Inhale, look straight forward. Exhale, look back to twist more. And inhale, center and exhale, come back up. Let's do three more like that. Pull your navel in and pull and twist. Look forward and look back. Twist more. And inhale, come back to the center and come up. Again, pull and roll down and pull and twist. Keep your both shoulders down and inhale and exhale, twist more. And inhale and exhale up. Last one, pull your navel in, in, in and to roll down nicely. And pull and twist. Inhale, look straight forward. Exhale, look back. And inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, stack back up. Nice. Then now put back down these straps into the peg and come on your knees. Okay. So then put some weight. For the moment in the middle of the uh, carriage, okay, then put your hands on the uh, rails of the reformer. Okay, then let's do cat cow from here. So, first, keep your uh, wrist 
on just direct under your uh, shoulders and your knees, uh, just under your hips, okay? Then as you exhale, pull your navel in and look at your navel, round your back nicely, gently, reach your tailbone down. And inhale, bring your shoulder blades back in towards the back pocket and nicely pull your uh, collarbone wide to side, flat back. And exhale, pull your navel in, 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 head relaxed, back of your neck is relaxed and tuck your tailbone re reaching under, okay? And inhale, bring your scapula towards the back and gently into your spine, then chest bone slightly up, but still keep nice uh, lengthening on your back of your neck. And last one, pull your navel in, in, in. And exhale, flatten your back, reach your tailbone nicely back, not up, okay? Tighten your core and pull your collarbone to the side and lift your chest gently up. Good, then just slowly come back to the neutral position. Okay, then um, find the ball, okay, then hold this ball between, under your, uh, it's, it's a behind your knee, right knee, okay? Then you can bend your right knee a little bit more, okay? Your left knee is attached on the uh, shoulder rest, okay? Just one step forward with your hands, okay? Then reach up your uh, right knee parallel to the floor, okay? Then try not to extend into your back, so try not to arching, okay? Then from here, you are just holding and pull in using your uh, core muscles. So you feel your center and pull. So your left knee flex, left hip flex, and in. Exhale, pull. Keep your shoulders away from your knee. Shh. And three, and two, and one, and slowly come back in. So if it's not doable, it's fine. You can just, you know, you, so this weight is optional. So if it's too much for you, you can just holding, um, just bending your uh, right knee, that's it, okay? So now you are crossing this right knee over your left knee, okay? So you're holding nicely this way then, so you're now, you are, shoulders are still square, your hips are kind of like diagonal motion. Okay, then you just pull and exhale, pull. Shh. So you must feel nicely your obliques and pull. And pull. Okay, then let's do three more. Shh. Exhale, pull. And the last one, pull. Good, and coming back to the center. And switch side, so you are now left knee, behind your left knee, you're holding this ball. And nicely holding up, reaching your left knee out. Okay, keep your nice flat back position, okay? Then from here, using your, your core muscles, Pull your knee in towards you, the uh, end of the before, okay? Keep, try to keep your left knee parallel to the floor, okay? Exhale, pull. Inhale, come back, control. Exhale, pull. Exhale, pull. Three more. Shh. Two. And last one and come back and close now. Okay, then cross your uh, both legs, both knee, okay, on your uh, right side. Okay, but still keep your shoulders square. Okay, then first you're just, you know, 
uh, carriage a little bit go away from the bumper. Okay, then start from here, exhale, pull. And inhale, control, and back. But don't lose the connection with your core. Okay, and pull. And and pull. And inhale, out, inhale. Exhale. And release. Exhale, but don't let it go. Three more. Shh. Two. Shh. Last one. Pull. And slowly. Close your carriage, come back to the center, take some weight from the knee. You can have a child's pose here, a little bit. Little bit nicely shaking. And still try to pull your navel up towards your spine so that you can have a nice lower back stretch here. And slowly inhale and exhale, come up. And let's coming on your uh, arm. So face the uh, foot bar, then come on the uh, single leg standing position. So as I am short, I'm under uh, five feet. Means like, you know, I have, uh, I'm uh, under 150 centimeter. So, I'm so short, so I need this uh, yoga block to hire myself up so that yeah, I can do scooter without touching this knee, okay? So still keep this blue spring on, then, so I'm standing with my right foot, then my left hand on the uh, foot bar, okay? Keep your shoulders away, then left knee, left foot, Tenting against this shoulder rest, then my right arm going towards the side, kind of like an airplane. Okay, then this is a quite light spring, so just you know try to keep your square hip, then press out and in. So using your core to close your carriage and press out. Then still stand, the standing glutes are nicely engaged to hold everything, and you are. Left shoulder are not hiking up, and your right arm is reaching out to the side and still. And press out and in. Four, keep your square hip. And two, and one. Good, close your carriage. Then now, this time, you're holding with both weight with each hand. Then your palms are facing back, okay? Still, both knees are kind of the same level, okay? Then slightly leaning forward, okay? Then from here, so soft on your right knee, then as you are kicking, okay? Your arms are just slightly forward, okay? Then as you bring back your hands are going back and out and your arms are forward still but your palms are facing back so you can just keep breathing i like exhale out and inhale come back your knees and out in shh shh good three and one, and now halfway, try not to close your carriage and hold it here. Then your palms are facing up and reaching back nicely. Then now pause up, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reaching up and slowly come up and close your carriage. Good. And now let's have a upright position. Okay. Then both hands, both arms are straight forward and palms are facing up. Still both knees are same level. Okay. Then keeping this nice upper. So it's too much. 
if it's too much for you, you can just put it away down and put your hands on the football, okay? But if you can, hold it nicely, okay? Then as you're kicking out, your arms are really reaching up shoulder height, okay? Then close and bring in elbows bending. And out, and in, out, and in. So still keep square hips, breathe, and good. And reach, and kick back, and four, three, two, and one. And slowly close your carriage, okay? Then now put your right foot a little bit forward and put one, put one uh, weight down, okay? Then put your left foot, left knee down, then press up your carry, bending your right knee and holding your right hand on the football. Okay. Then from here, reach your left arm to the side, then just going to the side, bend with your weight on your hand. This way is going to help you to have a nice side bend. Just to try to keep your knee square, kindly like attach your leg on this uh, uh, reformer. Okay, and breathe. Then inhale and exhale. Come up and close your carriage, then put your left foot down on the floor. Then let's go to, let's do the other side. So now, my left foot down, so on the floor, on the, on the yoga block, okay? Then holding, so your right hand on the uh, foot bar and the right heel, against this shoulder rest, then open your hands, left arm with the weight ball to the side, okay? Then square your hips, nicely flexing, hinging your hips, okay? Then kick up and in. breathe and in. good. Keep your right shoulder really away from your ears and you're holding nicely with your base of your palm of the right hand attached on the foot bar. Okay, breathe. And three, two, and one. And close your carriage all the way. Then stay there. I lost my ball, so now still keep slightly leaning position, okay? Then your palms are facing back, and so as you are kicking back, your palm, uh, your arms are a little bit forward. Okay. Then when you bring back in, your palms are going back and press out and in. Still try to have a nice square hip. Okay. And good. And out. In and out and in four. Soft on your left knee. Two and last one and close your carriage halfway. Then bring your hand back. Okay. Then from here, holding nicely this carriage, quiet. Then pulsing up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and reach up and slowly coming nicely upright position and close your carriage. Put one uh, weight, ah, no, sorry, both weight holding still, then nicely upright position. So then from here, you, as you are kicking out, your palms are coming up shoulder height, but your shoulders are not coming up high, okay? And close and bend your elbows in. 
and out and in. Press out, yes, good. Soften your left knee, out and in. Breathe, and three, two, and one. And bend your knee and put your right knee down. Then holding with uh, the weight with your right hand. Okay, then the left foot a little bit forward. Okay, then your left hand attached on the football. Okay, then press your carriage out, lunging position, nicely stretching out this front of your hip on your right side. But still try to have a nice square hips. Then from here, reach your right arm to the side and side bending towards your left. Breathe. Find a nice um, stretching position. So each individual is different. So just let's do two more big breathing. Then slowly coming up. Good. Then put your right foot down on the uh, floor, then coming, I'm facing you guys, and you're coming in the center of the room or wherever you have a space here, and palms are facing toward the, uh, um, palms are facing out front, okay? And holding nicely this weight, your uh, feet are parallel, and you nicely align the second toe and third toes and the middle of your ankle, your knee and your hip bone in line. Your shoulders are relaxed, your ribs are closed, nicely up pelvis. Then now from your crown of the head, so chin down and slowly soften your knees and roll down, roll down, roll down. So using this weight ball or dumbbells, like kind of like, you know, uh, support to have a nice roll down and nice stretching on your back. Pull your navel up towards your spine. And slowly, slowly. Soften your knees. Okay. Then you can just swing the body to side to side. And relax. So you don't need heavy weight on, with this workout. Okay. And for me, it's really enough, the one pound of each. And slowly coming back to the center and pull your navel in reverse the motion. And slowly, imagine, imagine you have a wall behind you, then put the spine one by one onto the wall and open your uh, chest and uh, palms are facing front. Okay, we are done for today. Thank you for joining me today. So if you like the workout, please subscribe to my channel so that you can have a notification of uh, my new videos. Thank you, so see you soon, bye.